we're going to take you through this morning a bit of a demonstration drive just to help you with positioning of the vehicle what I'm looking at uh, as part as part of the HGV test you will hear me using certain terminologies like I will be directing to the crown of the road the crown of the road as a lot white lines down the center of the road we'll be using that to, to help us position the unit to get a trail around the corner uh, hopefully in the cameras you will see the positioning and the steering to get us there I'll also use things like aim for the gravel. This is for learner drivers who just get into the cab on their first day um, and they want to know how to get an articulated trailer around. Now we do rely on our mirrors and we will be relying on our mirrors however for the first probably hour or so of your first lesson it helps you understand and put the truck where the truck needs to be to enable it to get round corners. So listen to the terminology um, and just watch the video and see how it goes. We're going to turn right at the junction here and on your driving test. Now you must make sure that we need to be make an effort at getting in the right hand turn box. We must make sure that we're parallel, allowing traffic to come through on that near side if it's available. Now before you turn the examiner is going to be watching for a near side mirror check for the kick out of the back of the truck. So here we go, clear, check the mirror last before we move, make the turn. And then as we turn into the junction, we're going to go straight to the crown of the road. That's the centre of the road on the right hand side. This gives us a good view, clears the corner on the near side mirror. And then... We've got a sign on the left for low bridge. We, we cannot go, it's 11 foot 6 and we are 12 foot 2. So mirrors, signal and we're going to turn left. Now, the examiner's not going to say anything. He's not going to ask you anything. He just expects you to react to the signs. So at the beginning of the test, when his words are, please follow the road ahead when it's safe to do so, or follow the head ahead at all times, unless road markings or road signs tell you otherwise, or I, I redirect you, he's expecting you to read the signage. Vehicles. Now, after the low bridge at Toll Cross, you've got a, a roundabout. We'll let the uh, lady cross the road. Please, I don't want to rush her, so no need to rush. We'll approach over the crown of the road to get away from the near side curb, the left curb. It's clear to go in, so we'll come into the roundabout with the vehicle, take the vehicle out and away from the roundabout. Then, as we come back in, we'll steer the vehicle closer into the roundabout before using the hatchet markings and going over them a little bit. That will enable the back of the vehicle to come away from the near side curb and we clear the curb. Check the mirrors and away we go. As we come round the bend, the examiner is more than likely at this point going to say to you, please pull over to a safe and convenient location on the near side or on the left. Now, it doesn't mean straight away, it does mean soon but not immediately because obviously you would not pull here because of all the bus stops, drop curbs, junctions. So look up ahead and you will see that after these junction here on your right and the bollards, there's a nice stretch on the left hand side, no double yellow lines, nothing there to stop your park. So we'll check our mirrors, signal left, gently, gently pull into that area, past the first drop curb and before the second drop curb. Using the mirrors to position the vehicle close to the curb but not touch it. Park brake goes on and then don't take your vehicle out of gear because he's only going to be there for a couple of seconds before his next instruction which will be please follow the road ahead when it is safe to do so. Now when he means that it, it, we have to wait for a gap in the traffic before we put the indicator on. Otherwise, our indicator goes on straight away, the car behind us slows down, we, and we could class us as slow in the traffic. Now, I usually give it about 30 to, 40 to, 30 to 40 seconds waiting for a gap in the traffic. If there is no gap, then you can put your indicator on and ask permission to see if someone will give way to you, but you cannot do it immediately. So, this position now, we're ready to pull away. He's given us the, the uh, instruction to pull away when it's safe to do so. So, I've checked my mirrors. There's a cars coming from the right hand junctions at the moment, so I don't want to slow them down, so I'll sit patiently. 
checking again. I'm checking both mirrors for the distance. After this one, there's a bus, so I think we can get in between the bus. There we go. Mirror, check, blind spot, check. Away we go. And we haven't upset anyone, we haven't slowed anyone down, and we're away. At the lights, we're going to go left. So mirrors, signal left, position, crown of the road. There's plenty of room to make the turn. I don't need to dominate the lines. Just stay in my lane, but only on the crown section of the road. And park brake goes on, position one. And all we do now is look where we're going to be driving into, which is left, see if there's any extra hazards we're driving towards. Check the position with the mirrors. Make sure there's no pedestrians, no so motorcyclists or cyclists approaching down onto our blind spots. And near side, front, right, blind spot, rolling forward. Checking the near side mirror, both mirrors, but checking the near side for position, checking the right mirror for the kick out. And then out we go, onto the crown of the road or towards the crown of the road. That improves our vision ahead. At the roundabout, we're going to follow the road ahead. Normally, I would dominate the position uh, at this roundabout or at a roundabout like this, but due to the test out of Garrett's screen and this being an eight metre truck, the examiners want us to actually position left. So, normal defensive position would be sent at, but we're going for a test, so we'll do what the examiners want us to do, which takes us in and around the roundabout, trying to stick as much as I can to the outside. There's a mirror break-off signal. And then once we clear the roundabout, we can then put a bit of gas on and get it going again. Slow into a hazard, a roundabout, or a corner, or a junction, slow in, fast out. And then as we call for Just smooth on the brakes anticipate that the lights are going to go to red. Mirrors, we're going right at the lights. Mirrors, signal, position, crown into right hand turn lane. Nice and smooth. Bring her down, there they go, into red, no big deal. Nice and smooth. Try and stop a little way in front of the stop line. There we go. And secure the vehicle, part brake on, lock down. Sit, check. Make sure no cyclists again, motorcyclists, that's what we're looking for, or pedestrians. Again, okay, near side, front right, blind spot, move into position for turn. Now, before we turn right at the lights, when it does go clear, we've got to check our near side mirror for the kick out of the unit, or from the trailer. So it's clear there, check the kick out, it's good to go. We make the turn, look into the driving future where we're going to. And as you can see, we've got a bit of traffic. And then we'll hold a nice, maintain a nice safe margin between us and the car in front. Right. I'm just on the crown of the road at the moment and I'll probably just ride onto the crown slightly, but the oncoming vehicles have got plenty of room there to move over a little bit. We're not forcing them to move over, they're just seeing our position and they'll just naturally do that. Check both mirrors as we come through the pinch point and we're clear. Monitor the speed, we're only just above 12, 20, 25 miles an hour. We can speed up a little bit. Peugeot's through, we're into position, they're all braking, so nice and smooth on the brakes. Cancel the signal because that was just a lane change. Now we're going to give a signal for the roundabout, telling people we're going right third exit. Recovery truck's through and we're into the roundabout. We're mindful now of anybody on our outside, so as we take the roundabout, both mirrors, position mirror on the right, danger mirror on the left, he's off. Into centre lane, there's a car trying to come round, but as you can see, it goes into a bus lane, traffic has to merge over, so he's going to have to try and merge over. Green light, and as I said, still heavy traffic up ahead, we've got a nice gap though, good three or four second gap, 